Hello, 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 hello. Happy Sunday. I'm back again. Okay. Pull my chair up. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Carol. Carol, sorry, Karen. Lorraine's watching. Still on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Julie, yeah, hey, honey. While I'm just waiting for a few more people to drop in, I'm just gonna cut up some cardstock here. Um, Trevor and I have been trying to organize um, the orders, I have got everybody's. Oh, hey, Mandy from South Africa. Um, yeah, I've been trying to organize the orders so that I can start. And um, yeah, I've got some work ahead of me. I suspect it is going to be a very long night here of packing orders and making sure that everything is packed in them and that I'm not missing anything. Um, checking on postage and gift wrapping them. I could just throw them all in some bags, but you know, let's be honest, I love the, the gift wrapping side of things. So I'll be doing that as well. I'm popping in a little gift for each and every one of you as I do. Um, so this time I thought for my last live Facebook of, of the weekend, um, I will be doing something with Distress Oxides. I've got a few still in my shop and I want to just show you some cool things that you can do with the stencils and it's nothing tricky and fabulous or anything like that. It's something that is... Most of you know how to do, um, but it's very therapeutic to watch, very relaxing, and I really enjoy it. So I just thought I would show you some cool tips and tricks um, and, yeah, have a bit of a play with some of the stencils that I have got in my shop. So before I start, I would like to show you these stencils that I got in from Poland. Um, I absolutely love these. These are stencils and they are just so, so super cute. Um, so this one is the little um, Frida. She's just gorgeous. And I've used this on a couple of my projects um, over time as well. So all of these stencils are 15% off. So can you just imagine how gorgeous this one would be in an art journal? You could build a whole little scene. It'll be just lovely. And here's a couple more here. Uh, so they are online. You'll find those under AB Studios. Uh, and then this guy here is just lovely as well. Uh, so that is the unicorn. So they're available online. So they're currently $15.00. And if they will be reduced by 15% automatically at the checkout. So that's just some of them. But I also have a stencils in stock. Um, all of the new paper rose stencils as well. So I'm going to be demonstrating today with these ones. And um, these two were only released last week. And they are $10 less 15%. And then they will play with them today and show you that are available as well. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one. This one is called the Leaf Burst. So I'm going to crack that one open and make a start. So when I do stenciling um, with Distress Oxides, a couple of things that I like to do and have handy is some washi tape or purple tape. Um, and also some um, post-it notes. 
which I forgot. Um, Mandy, yeah, I can ship to South Africa if you need me to, darling. I would love to do that. You just need to flick me or do your order and select pick up and then I will flick you through an invoice for shipping. Um, okay, so I have got um, some colours here in the Distress Oxides and a few different blending tools and I want to show you just some simple blending techniques. Uh, I like to have post-it notes handy because they stop the transfer onto my fingers. Um, and the washi tape, if I can get that open, the washi tape just helps hold the stencil and the paper in place. So I'm going to, I've just got some flat plain cardstock. So this is the cardstock that I make my cards out of normally um, and I'm just going to tape that down there and I'll tape it at the top here. So I'm going to use the uh, da, 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 speckled egg distress oxide and I'm going to use start by using the blending tools. So I've still got some of these in stock. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I popped them on special because Jessica and I found a stash of them that I forgot that I had. So, hey, what the hell, you may as well discount them, hey? So what I'm going to do, I've made that nice and inky on there and I'm going to move in a round circular motion like this going around and I'm only going to do this in one colour just to show you how awesome the speckled egg is. It really is that gorgeous, pretty blue um, really, really pale blue, and I think that it is amazing. Um, so just using the sponge with the handle, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm after a real relaxed look this time, and that's come up really, really nice. So when I create cards I like to create card fronts so I like to create these little six by fours then I can then fold up and put on the front of cards so this is the speckled egg with the leaf burst so if I want to use that again I'm going to mix it with another color so I'll do exactly the same thing again but I'm also going to add to it to get the color on with the stencil and then I'm going to take Salty Ocean and I might, do I change, yeah okay, I'll put a nice clean sponge on. Um, the re-inkers for these are also on special too so it's the opportunity to catch up on that. Now because I'm adding a new colour I'm going to start from this side and work in that way. The post-it note is so I don't get any transfer onto my fingers and I don't cover it, uh, cover the whole project in that particular colour. So just moving it around like that. And this stencil is gorgeous because it, Dala, Mandala, can't say it properly, um, but I really, really like it. It's beautiful. All right, there we go. So now I can go back with the blend this line here. I'm just going to zoom up a little bit with the camera. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's better. Yeah, the sticky note makes a big difference because, because the oxides don't dry straight away you can get a little bit of transfer that comes across on your fingers and if you don't put your hands down to secure it properly then you can get that transfer so the post-it note is what works for me all right so i've just lightly blended that edge so peeling that back up there's the two colors there so that's the salty ocean and the speckled egg so that's kind of come up looking pretty good um, okay, so the other really good thing about these is they wipe off and come clean pretty easily. The way that I clean my stencils is between two baby wipes. So I put down the baby wipe 
onto there. Grab another baby wipe. Oh, goodness me. There we go. And just take off the colour just like so. So then it takes it off on both sides and cleans it up really, really nicely. Okay, and that's come nice and clean. And I can pop my baby wipe aside for later. Um, so if I was to just use these two colours by themselves on to the card, the way that I do it is I start off half on, half off my glass mat and work in a round circular motion. And I'm giving it a decent amount of pressure and working around. So I'm, I'm building my colour up on that side there. So you can see what's happening. The colour's building and I'm getting a really nice, intense colour. Um, and that is working a treat. Look at that. So if I want to add the second colour, which is the Salty Ocean, I'm going to turn it around, wipe this excess off, and then this is where the post-it note comes in handy again because it'll transfer onto my fingers. So I've got the Salty Ocean and I'm going to do exactly the same thing coming back in this way. Um, this just takes practice. And it's about the amount of pressure that you put onto your paper. So I like a flawless look. So I make sure that I get rid of all of these lines here. That I really don't like that look. So I make sure that I get rid of it all. So I will work it over and over and over again until it is gone. The other thing that makes the blending look quite nice is that I have got a really, really inky ink pad. I always make sure that I have got a refill for every color that I have so that I can re-ink it and make sure that it is at its full potential every single time that I use it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just taking back some of that speckled egg and moving that over the top that way and blending those two colours and swishing them together so that I end up with a nice flawless blend. Um, the other thing I like about Distress Oxides is they layer really, really nicely. So I can now take another stencil. So I've got the small drop stencil from Paper Rose. So Paper Rose is an Australian company. In fact, they are a South Australian company. So that rocks my world. In, uh, most of you know that I worked with them last year, um, uh, working at craft shows across Australia. And um, I love their products and their staff and love them um, working for someone who is passionate too about their products. So now I'm going to go back with the blue and I'm going to put the blue, the salty ocean, over the top of the speckled egg. So my post-it note holding it in place so I don't get any transfer. And I'm just going to build that colour up and I'm going to flick it so that I, I don't have a sharp line and that it turns into a nice blend. Like that. And then I'll do exactly the same thing going this way. So I'll use the speckled egg over the top of the salty ocean. And just to let you guys know, I am winging it here. I have absolutely no plan other than to play with the four, four or five colours I've got in front of me and these stencils just to try some different techniques. So um, there's a fairly good chance that you watch me fail um because hey i'm human too and um and totally winging it all right oh and then i get surprised by how good that looks so that's just two colors so what i love about the oxides is the the lighter colors sit beautifully over the darker ones too so that is using the small drop stencil from paper rose 
Um, oh, that's so good. So if I was going to make a card out of this, I could put a piece of vellum across the middle and stamp my sentiment on the piece of vellum and instantly done. Piece of cake. So same thing again. I'm going to clean my stencils off as I go so that they are nice and clean. And I didn't put my baby wipe underneath it, but you know. All right, so there's that one. So what else can we do? I'm gonna add in a pink, what do you reckon? Oh, and I've got some of these guys. So have you guys all used the um, blending sponges? No, brushes. I will use those now to show you how easy it is to blend with those. I do love me a blending sponge, like the, the handle ones, but I also am quite fond of using um, these guys as well. So, so I want to make my whole background pink. So what I'm going to do, and these are the paper rose ones as well, by the way. So these are $15 for a two pack. Um, Karen, they are great. They're like, they're lovely and soft. They're just like using puppy, they're <laughs> using puppy dog's ears, touching little puppy dog's ears. They're just gorgeous. Um, the paper rose ones are really, really nice to use. So um, I am just going to put my ink pad straight onto there. Why? Because I can. And it's lovely and it's inky. Um, again, I've got my post-it note. And I'm just going to go around and smooth all of that out. Um, yes, that should have been clean. But you know what? Let's commit to it. I'm just going to go straight back on there. Get it on. Okay. So that's got a lovely... So that's the picked raspberry. Um, one of my top five colours in the Distress Oxides. Uh, really, really like those. So cleaning off my mat. So if you don't have a glass mat to work on, I highly recommend investing in them. Um, this is the Tim Holtz one. I've got a couple of these on their way in, but I also have in stock at the moment the Couture Creations one, which is the Australian brand, and that is a mere 20 bucks for that. So um, they're great because they come clean and they work as a fantastic surface to um, ink on as well. So, all right, now I'm going to use Hickory Smoke and I'll use Hickory Smoke with the blending tool as well. Um, and I will, so I've got that nice and clean. Um, you can actually just use your baby wipe to clean it off as well. Warm soapy water will clean it. So the next thing I'm going to do, so this one I'm using is the Flourish 6x6 stencil. Um, and I'm going to Hickory Smoke. Hickory Smoke is probably my favourite. I really have a soft spot for lovely warm greys. And I've got my angle wrong here. And I'm just going to... Oh, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Um, <laughs> I'm going to lightly just circular motion just like that so i really hope i'm not making this look hard i'm not doing anything super technical that you wouldn't be able to try yourself i think there's absolutely no point in me creating something that is out of your your depth um what is the point of doing that so I can just go backwards and forwards with that. Um, and I'm just going to lightly blend it down now. And yeah, you may have noticed I forgot to put my washi tape on it to hold the stencil down. And at this point, I'm thinking that would have been a good idea. But you know, let's commit to it. Alrighty. Um, all right, so just working around like that to get a nice even coat and yanking it off and done. 
So that's looking pretty great. So that is the Hickory Smoke, that beautiful soft grey over picked raspberry. Yeah, I know, Karen. Isn't that a gorgeous combination? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'll pop that one aside. And the Hickory Smoke by itself is looking pretty good too. So if I get a completely new tool, so if I go with a brand, brand new tool and use that Hickory Smoke, I'm really getting some ink into my sponge here. Where's my post-it note? And get that straight on. It's, oh goodness, it's really, really nice. So the difference with this one, because there's a lot of really fine elements with this stencil, I am being a little bit too rough using my sponge um, applicator. So I'm just rolling it backwards and forwards and giving it a little bit of a wriggle and I'm finding the ink's coming off better. But I do find it easier to use, is that the one that I just used? Yeah. I do find it, oh for goodness sakes, easier to use one of these. It's a bit softer on a more delicate stencil. So that's really pretty on that as well. All right, so that's just the, the hickory smoke by itself. Um, while I have all of that ink on my stencil, there's no reason why I can't use that as well. So I've got a water spray here, just a water spray bottle with some fancy Adelaide water. And just off camera, I'm gonna lightly mist it. And then I can stamp it straight onto a piece of cardstock and press it down with some paper towel. Dun, dun, dun. And now I have created something that looks so much better than I thought it was was going to. Um, can you see that? Is that coming up on screen? Yep. That looks way cool. What am I, 12? Way cool. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's pop that aside. Um, what else can we do here? So let's have a bit more of a play with that stencil and I'm going to line that up beautiful and now I'm going to blend in some hickory no speckled egg again so I have to apologize if the um, my Wi-Fi is dropping out a bit if you watch, if you decide that you want to, you miss something and you want to watch it back, when I have finished filming, I will save it to my Facebook feed and you will be able to watch it back and it should be pretty much seamless. So um, I apologise if it is dropping out here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't change it. All right, so this is just using the speckled egg and putting that with the hickory smoke. So that came out pretty nice too, actually. Yeah, baby. Okay, we'll pop that one aside and we can come back to that later. Um, oh, I'm really blown away on how good that looks. That looks so nice. Uh, so I've got to clean my stencil off, so I'll do exactly the same thing again. Pop it down on a wet baby wipe and give it a nice gentle wipe over before that oxide ink's dried. Voila! All right, what else have we got? Let's have a play with this one. So this is one of the new um, Paper Rose ones that was only released last week. So this is the Mandala. And we will do... You know what? Let's do the whole background in Hickory Smoke. Did I do that before? No, I did pink. I'll do the whole background in Hickory Smoke. And then I will stencil over the top in a lighter colour. How does that sound? So, because I'm lazy 
and I like that instant gratification, let's get it done right now thing, because that's what we do. There's my ink straight on. So again, there's no reason why we can't do that. And I know it's gonna work with mine because my um, oxides are nice and inky and I only re-inked them a couple of days ago. Before I do anything else here, and you can see that it's got a nice cover, but it's still a little bit wet, I need to dry it off. So what colour did I just say I was going to put over the top? There's my two second memory kicking in. Pink? Or uh, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, brain fade. Like, how's that 30 second memory? I'll put pink over the top. Stuff it. Stuff it, I say. And if it doesn't work, then you know what? I've just done it in front of you guys and it's all trial and error all right so i'm going to use the pink and i'm going to use the brush this time so i'm going in nice and juicy and i'm going to do half of it i'll do the top half let's line this up like that and i'm going to start in the middle and i need my post-it note because it's transferring onto my fingers You know what? I could probably pop a couple of colours on this one. And this would be beautiful when I, if I spray it with water after because this design is just lovely. Oh, and you know what? Let's do this. So I've got this salty ocean now and I'm going to put that on the edges oh look at that and then I need to go back and blend that and mix those two colors together so um, so what's everybody up to on this Sunday afternoon other than watching me waffle on anything exciting going on guys anybody no Trevor's decided to go and do an oil change on the car in the shed right next to me. So if you hear that, then um, I apologise. Don't be surprised. Um, Jessica's just gone to Officeworks for me and to take her boyfriend to the train station so he can head home. Um, so, yeah, pretty, pretty uneventful sort of day in the house. And then it's all hands on deck here this afternoon to pack all your customer orders so all right and the big reveal ah that's kind of cool i like the way that the pink sits on top of that gray folding your washing wendy oh that sounds nice <laughs> look at that that's really pretty actually i'll turn it over where's the camera there all right so while i've got ink still on my stencil i'm going to spray it with water and we're going to um and we're going to stamp that tony i will be in touch with you sweetheart i will send you a message in a moment just hold off on putting that order through all right love did you hear me beautiful you did um okay so sprayed it and i'm just going to i'm peeling it up Oh, look at that. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, next, what else can we do? Okay, let's do a little bit of smushing with these oxides, shall we? And then that can I can put that aside to dry. I'm making a big pile here. All right, so smushing. When we smush our oxides... I do this. This is my super fancy, awesome, messy smushing technique. Not at all special, but it works. And I'm going to just use two blues. I'm just going to take those. Where's my lids? 
<laughs> Tracy, yes, go to work, love. Um, and I do appreciate your orders. Uh, and I will be posting in the next day or so. The weekend has been very um, surprising and I've had a lot more orders than I anticipated. So normally I pack the orders as I go. But yeah, it's, it's been a lot. So, all right. So I've just smushed them onto my glass mat. Now I've got my water and I'm just going to add some water here. And then I'm going to grab a paintbrush, a wet paintbrush. And I'm just going to make them not look like they're squares and kind of activate all of that colour. I haven't done this in ages, so this can either go like two ways, bad or work. And I'll just drop my card off and pretty. So I'll pop that one aside and I'll do another one. And mop up the rest. How am I going with time? Half an hour. As much as I could, I'd love to do this all day. I won't keep you all day. All right. So there you go. There's no reason why I haven't. You can't create a background like that. And then from there, of course, I can stencil over the top of that. But I've still got this goodness here that I just can't let go. What card am I using? Um, I am just using a flat white card stock. They are, when you buy, on my website, if you buy a pack of cards, like a card making pack with the cards and the envelopes, they come like this. I use these all the time. So these are what I use to make the bases of my cards. I also cut them down to make my card fronts and they are my go-to. Um, I really, that's what I use. It's what, I, what you get in all the kits. It's what you get um, if you buy one of my card making kits as well. So, all right. So now if I come back to this here, it's still a little bit wet, but let's solve that with a heat tool. And now I can stencil over the top or I can stamp over the top. So the demo that I did earlier today, I used the Distress Oxides to stamp with so that will work so if i just now take my speckled egg again and this time i will use what did i do with oh here it is use that beautiful mandala and i've created a background and then i can pop this over the top. Um, would you get the same effect on water uh, with watercolour paper? Delphina is asking. With watercolour paper, yeah, you will get a similar effect. Of course, the different surface means it will look different. Um, watercolour paper is going to hold the water differently. This cardstock is quite absorbent. So therefore, it's going to soak in quicker than it would with watercolour paper. So that's now put like a shadow effect over the top and it's actually quite soft and pretty. Yeah, I like that. Um, so yeah, it will give a different effect, Dill, but... Um, and, and it's also... Watercolour paper is also a bit lumpy-bumpy, so... It will uh, have, a, have a different effect that way. But it will still look pretty amazing. So now I'm just using that hickory smoke over the top with the blending sponge. So um, I've, got, I've still got these on special until I go to bed tonight. Um, the, sale, the sale finishes, yeah, when I go to bed pretty much, I've decided. Um, rather than putting a time on it, I'm going to do that. But if you want to add to your order, you will need to do that by 4pm Adelaide time. So uh, because I've got to start packing these orders and I've probably got about 10 hours of packing orders, I've got to stop somewhere. Um, yeah, look at that. 
that's really pretty so yes that's kind of fun so because I just want to water spray I don't know if it's going to work over this one but let's do it oh there's a little bit of a pattern there not very very much at all but it is there and now I'm going to wipe that stencil clean um, so yeah, there's some really, really nice, easy techniques that you can do. Of course, with your Distress Oxides, um, don't overthink it. Like, seriously, it's, it's super easy. Um, if I now come back and have a bit of a play, what else haven't I done? We did that one. I might do this one again. I've run out of card now. Hang on. Hold that thought. I'm going to cut these up. So yeah, my my card fronts or my cards here, I just cut them back to make something that I can create with that way. So I do have plenty of card making kits available online as well. If you like to follow a kit and create like that, then that might be a really good opportunity for you to do something. Um, so there's... My kits, I think, but I like to think my kits are pretty simple. They shouldn't be difficult if you're doing a kit. I tend to not write too many instructions. I would rather give you pictures to follow and for you to then turn the cards and the same as scrapbooking kits, turn them into your own. Uh, so this is tumbled glass going down onto the flat white. And I'm just going to pop that aside to dry and I'll do another one in the same colors because I forgot that I had it there. Uh, so if there are any of the oxides left online, they are 15% off today. So if you haven't had a play with the new Tim Holtz color, the speckled egg, now's your time. So eight bucks each, I think they are. Um, all right. That's those and grab the refills. All the refills are eight dollars each as well. So what I want to do now is I will get rid of that. Come back here and let's stencil this way. I'll go for a long. Oh, let's put the burst in the corner. All right. So I'll go over the top now with the hickory smoke and. One of these with the little markers on the handle so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so if I use now my paper rose um, brush, I can stencil in a round circular motion, go around this way. So yes, again, I've forgotten to use my post-it note. So now I've got ink all over my fingers. If it wasn't for that 20 second delay, between what you're seeing and what I'm doing. I'm sure someone would remind me and I'd actually do it. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice. And let's pop a bit of this salty ocean on as well. So these are techniques that everybody knows how to do. It takes practice. You've got to you've got to do this to become for it to become second nature you've got to have a play you don't always have to have a project in mind when you create there is no reason why you can't create little projects like I'm doing here which are what I call card fronts and then oh yeah that works and and then have these little pieces here ready to go um Plenty of options. So this one here where I smushed earlier, let's let's add some blending to that. Clean off these. I've got plenty of ink on here, as you can see. So I will transfer it over onto here. But I think my favourite thing to do with the oxides is to do that, that stamping onto... You know, using a dirty stencil and flipping it over. I think that just looks amazing. 
Um, has anyone got any questions? Is there anything else that you want to see me do? Um, before I finish up, because I've been taking up 45 minutes of your precious day off. Um, cleaning that off with a baby wipe. No questions? I can't see anyone coming up. Okay. Well, you guys are an easy crowd. I think I might just show you again. I will just put my... I'll put the table dance. Oh, Tracy, now you're talking. Yeah, look, I'm going um, simply because I haven't shaved my legs this year. And don't tell me I am the only one because, um, yeah, no, not, not a thing at the moment. Not required. Okay, ink pad, straight onto stencil, water spray, just off camera. Giving it a light mist. Here is that tumbled glass background from earlier. Smush it down there. I'm just going to pop my paper towel over the top. You know that moment when you, you kind of say something and you think you're so much more funnier than you actually are? Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, okay, so there's that 20 second delay. Let's trace his leg. Oh, you've got the dreadlocks happening on your legs, have you, Dale? <gasps> Ooh. Hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So if I was just to add some splatters of water to that now. So this is the other thing that oxides do that is really, really cool. Is they oxidize. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second. Clean my stencil. And then pat it off. What is the flower stencil called, Sally? Do you mean this one that I'm using now? No. This one is called the leaf burst stencil. No, not that one. All right. So the splatters didn't work. Oh, yes, they did. Um, beautiful. Let's just do a little bit more. Let's see if I can line that up. So this is the one that I'm using here is mandala number three. Um, I want to use that one, don't I? Um, all right, dun, dun, dun. twisting it because I'm too lazy to find my washi tape. Oh, I need an assistant. Where's my assistant today? Oh, that's right. I sent her off to office works because I can do that now because Jessica got her driver's license this week. So she, I have a pea plater in the house. That's the freaking best. I can tell you right now having a pea plater. So I've got someone to go and do some running around because <laughs> it's all about me isn't it <laughs> um but yes yeah, she's um independent now all righty hey so that's a kind of cool little effect as well so just the layering up of the colors where i lined up the stencil where i smushed it down yeah it's working okay so um I'll just go back over some of these ones now that they have dried just to show you what sort of full, cool techniques and what stencils we used. So I'll start back, I'll start at the bottom of the pile. So this is what we first did to start with, with the speckled egg and the leaf burst stencil using the blending sponge. Very cool. And then that's using Salty Ocean and Speckled Egg together. So that's looking pretty good. 
I need to stand up so I line this up properly. Oh, look at that. Um, then this is, I think, my favourite out of all of them. So that's using the small drops from Paper Rose, that stencil with the salty ocean and speckled egg. Um, the picked raspberry background with, I don't even know what that one was called, actually. Oh, Flourish stencil and that's got the um hickory smoke over the top and that's the same stencil using hickory smoke and speckled egg and this is where i started stamping my stencils because i'd forgotten how awesome that looks oh look at that so um hickory smoke background and then stenciling over the top so these i'm going to turn into cards at some stage so these are what i call card yeah card fronts i then turn them cut them down cut turn them into card fronts i can die cut them they're all my creative little pieces that i like to work with so um Ladies, just for those of you who get dizzy, I apologise because I'm just going to take my camera off the stand and show you what the hot mess looks like here in the studio at the moment. You won't be getting to see my face today. Um, and I will show you. I'm not going to walk around because I'll lose the Wi-Fi just like that. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's better okay so <laughs> so what you're looking at is um is what's going on in the studio at the moment so there's my house no dogs um they're in the shed with trevor and i have got some empty shelves so i'm very grateful for that thank you so very much my workspace is ridiculous um it's a hot mess as well and the studio is looking um yeah pretty bare so coming around to the tables here are all of your orders sitting here ready to <laughs> we're ready to go um and i'm going to start packing very very shortly so there i am there i am there um so Thank you very, very much to, I will turn the camera around, so ready for this? There we go. Um, thank you very much to each and every one of you for your support over this weekend with the Great Australian Craft Show. Um, very, very grateful for that. Um, so thank you. And um, I'll be posting orders in the next couple of days. Um, I hope to do as many as I can today. And for those of you who live locally, I will be probably using a courier, actually, so I can get to you even faster. So um, here comes my lovely assistant now. Um, so I, what have you got there, Jess? 400 Mentos. Okay, um, so yeah, enjoy. But if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to send me a message. And I apologise if I'm not getting back to you straight away. Like I said, um, it's a little crazy at the moment in here. If you look behind me on the table, there are there's lots and lots of stuff there for me to do. Um, Trevor's been helping me out. Jess has been helping me out. And um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. So... Um, I'm just trying to get rid of that. Sorry. Here's my little assistant. This one is Macy. And she is a our, our four-year-old bulldog. I don't know where the other one is. Um, but Macy's the moody little cow. So, um, yeah, she's, she's my, little, um, my little best mate. Oh, and here's Ollie. Oh, he's a lot. So he's just turned one. Mm -hmm. So we are real people in a family business, a happy little family business. 
Miss Jessica is um, doing the web stuff, packing orders, helping us out along the way. So um, thank you so very much. And Delfina, I will give you a call if I need you. Thank you very much for offering. And I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Take care, wash your hands, kiss your kids, and thank you guys.